Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. So in this video, I am going to do something different, something new. Uh, I'll do the NEET PG 2023 recall with Chat GPT. Basically, let's see whether Chat GPT, uh, you know the uh, search engine, the AI uh, search engine, which is in news all over the round. Uh, it has cracked USMLE. It has cracked, uh, you know, uh, it has cracked uh, some other exams. Could not crack UPSC, by the way. Let's see if it can actually crack NEET PG. Let's see if it can. It actually has the ability to answer your NEET PG questions, NEET PG 2023 questions correctly. Uh, obviously, I won't be doing all 200 questions. That doesn't make any sense. But let's see if, if it does have the capability. Can it actually compete with the person who was studying for NEET PG 2023 for five to seven months, one year? Uh, does ChatGPT beat that person or ChatGPT fails? So let's find out. Uh, so on the right hand side of the screen, you will see a uh, right hand, left hand, depending upon how it's actually getting recording. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, you'll see. Uh, 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 the chat GPT and uh, uh, and here I am and I'll type the question. So I'll actually start with psychiatry questions first uh, and uh, I'll start with psychiatry question because psychiatry is something which has a most basic human touch. So let's see if this, uh, AI can actually replicate humanness. Uh, the humanness of psychiatry that is present uh, as far as uh, psychiatry is concerned. So first question, there was a question if I'm not uh, wrong on uh, treatment resistant schizophrenia and uh, being given another drug then the patient developing psyoluria and uh, which drug is uh, most likely to cause it. So let's uh, let's ask chat GPT chat. Uh, a patient with uh, treatment resistant uh, schizophrenia is given a drug which then later causes psi al oria and weight gain from what i remember from what i remember of the recalls which drug is the likely cause and options likely were if i'm not wrong lanzapine Second was clozapine and clozapine, by the way, is the correct answer. Let's see if uh, chat GPT can actually uh, guy, uh, get you that answer. Another option was flufenazine uh, and another option was, uh, I'm forgetting another option, risperidone, yes, risperidone. So uh, the uh, treatment of choice for uh, 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 the drug of choice for treatment resistant schizophrenia, people who have already gotten two uh, sets of drugs is cl uh, clozapine and clozapine is known to cause psyolaria. Uh, it causes, uh, you know, neutropenia also very frequently. These are the two, two side effects that you should know uh, and have been asked very frequently. Again, a previous question, like I keep on emphasizing. Uh, let's see if chat GPT is able to get this answer correct. So here it goes uh, with a chat GPT. So chat GPT is wrong. Chat GPT cannot answer need PG questions correctly. The answer should be in my opinion, treatment is schizophrenia likely should be close up in. Uh, so chat GPT, uh, is saying that it is not typically associated with significant weight gain or slur psyoluria or lanza pain is typically related. Now I, I think, uh, I think the answer should be, uh, um, Clozapine, right? Treatment is like uh, schizophrenia. You tend to give clozapine and it causes psyolaria very frequently. Uh, answer here is wrong. Chart GPT, sorry. Uh, human one, human one, chart GPT zero. All right. So next, uh, let's ask some other question. Let's ask a question from pathology. Pathology is very, uh, it's not human, human. It is, uh, pathology is obviously human also, but pathology has a lot of, you know, scientific advances. Let's see if uh, chart GPT can answer a pathology question correctly. So, uh, the pathology question that I'm going to ask that I asked in my recall also, a patient presents with DIC and has a peripheral smear showing blasts with all rods. So basically they had given you a scenario of acute promyelocytic leukemia, uh, patient having DIC and the peripheral smear had all rods suggesting it's acute myeloid leukemia. And then they had asked which translocation is most likely. So let's see if uh, uh, chat GPT is able to answer it correctly. Uh, Blast was saying all rods, which translocation, um, which translocation is likely. And let's give it options. Let's give it translocation 15, 17. Let's give it 
translocation 922 922 is there in cml uh, again uh, cml uh, you know, won't have dic like presentation it will uh, then uh, let's me give it translocation 821 821 does have odd rods it's aml m2 it does have odd rods but it won't cause a dic like presentation and let's give it inversion 16 again inversion 16 is aml m4 it will have or uh, uh, it can have or rods unlikely m2 m3 have maximum amount of or rods actually inversion 16 is a cute myeloma it can can likely churn might have or rods uh let's see if chat gpt is able to answer this question correctly so chat gpt is taking its time uh, again it has to answer this question in less than one minute on a peripheral smear is a characteristic feature of acute myeloid leukemia. Great. AML is a heterogeneous group of malignant disorders. So ChatGPT did get to the fact that if I'm talking about or odds, or it means acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, it now, but it's not with or rods and DIC in AML is translocation. So this ChatGPT actually got correct. This question ChatGPT actually got correct. Nice, nice ChatGPT. So human one, chat GPT one, it's a one-on-one -on -one game. Let me ask it another question. Uh, let me ask it like, like next back step sort of a question. Let me consider something like a next back step or let me ask a uh, psychiatric question again. Maybe it fails in psychiatry, but passes as far as other subjects are concerned. So let me, uh, let me ask a psychiatric question again. A middle-aged female had repeated episodes of Mm, excessive, uh, you know, excessive sweating, fearfulness, and feeling of impending doom. These episodes last for 20 to 30 minutes, and she has been having these for past six months what is what is the likely cause and i'm um, the most common question the most uh, the two options that people tend to get confused whether it's generalized anxiety disorder or it's a uh, panic disorder so let's see if chat gpt can answer this correctly uh, so these 20, 30 minutes of episodes of impending doom, excessive sweating, fearfulness, and, uh, you know, just 20, 30 minutes, and then they resolve. <coughs> Likely to be panic disorder more than generalized anxiety. So uh, let's see if ChatGPT is able to answer this correctly. <coughs> Again, ChatGPT is able to answer it correctly. So maybe ChatGPT does have the capacity of replacing us in future. So time to get scared. May not, maybe not, be not. Let me throw a bit of a googly for it. Let me throw a <coughs> let me throw a question from uh, one of the one PYQ series that I actually did. Uh, not one one PYQ series. Let me ask it a question that actually emphasizes on guidelines, right? So there was a pediatrics question if I'm not wrong on DKA. So let's see if ChatGPT is able to answer that question. A uh, patient with <coughs> DKA presents in shock <coughs> what should be done and people take, uh, got confused ki 10 ml per kg dena hai 20 ml per kg dena hai insulin cup dena so the uh, as well as dk management guidelines is concerned the first hour is always fluid resuscitation and you after one hour start insulin so two options were already ruled out so i'm not going to put those two options but the two options simply will be uh, whether 10 ml per kg would be given or 20 ml so it's, since they had given a presentation of shock 20 ml per kg bolus followed by insulin uh, <clears throat> followed by insulin after one hour. So I'll give the four options. 10 ml per kg bolus followed uh, followed by insulin at one IU per hour. The next will, I'll just copy paste this. Control, uh, command C, control C, control V, three. So if I'm not wrong, they just, Sometimes they gave it a 20 ml per kg, 10 ml per kg at 0 0.1. And the last option they gave was a 20 ml per kg bolus followed by at 0 0.1. Let's see if ChatGPT is able to answer this correctly.
So ChatGPT is actually great. I'm actually sort of impressed with ChatGPT at this point of time. It is tending to do fluid resuscitation first, and after fluid resuscitation, it's talking about insulin at point one. Oh my God, ChatGPT is going to steal all our jobs. AI is going coming for us. I'm actually scared at this point of time. Uh, so I'm not going to ask any more questions. Uh, the only question it answered incorrectly was the first one, likely, uh, and that too probably because it uh, had a weight gain. It prioritize weight gain more because uh, uh, maybe that's why. So that's it for my say today. Thank you and have a nice day.